This website created by a pedophile is a virtual how-to manual, complete with the best places in western Washington state to see little girls, tips on how to avoid getting caught by the police, the site titled Seattle Tacoma Everett Girl Love. The police know about it. They say they can't shut it down because the site is legal. As disturbing and offensive as we find it, there's no evidence of a crime or even suspicion of illegal activity. With me is Jack McClellan, the pedophile with the how-to website for men seeking little girls. Uh, Mr. McClellan, I was told that the website is down now, is that correct? Yes, it's been down for about a week, and it probably isn't going to be coming back in the near future. Why is that? Uh, there have been a lot of death threats, and I, I'm, I'm a lot more fearful for my safety now that you know I've completely been identified, and uh, I'm, <laughs> there's, there's no hiding behind a fictitious name or sunglasses for me anymore. So does that does that shock you? I mean, did you not expect that to happen? No, I, I really didn't. I mean, you're certainly aware of Megan's law and Jessica's law, and, and the movement across the country to try to protect kids and stop naming laws after dead kids uh, that have been killed at the hands of sex offenders, right? Yes, of course, yeah. And you didn't you didn't think the general public would not connect the dots and and I I find I guess I find it difficult to believe that you didn't expect this. I, I certainly didn't expect Fox uh, showing up and uh, all the other things that have happened. Um no. Now, I I'm told that you attend family-friendly events where children are present, take their pictures for your website. You also live close to a bus stop. You say your purpose is to promote association, friendship, and legal consensual hugging and cuddling between men and prepubescent girls. Yes. Yours is uh, age attraction between 3 and 11-year-old girls, right? Yeah, for me personally, yes. You think the main thing is just that they're cute, a lot cuter than women, and you admitted that you get kind of an erotic arousal there. Yes, and I, I wouldn't really even call it sexual. I mean, it's not like I want to have, I certainly wouldn't want to try to have intercourse with a girl that young. That is just crazy. You said that, uh, I'm quoting here, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but there's a kind of code of ethics that pedophiles have. And what it is, the contact has to be completely consensual, no coercion, if you're going to do it. Do you think a nine-year-old girl can legitimately consent do you think she has the life experience, the emotional maturity to consent to anything? I don't know. I, I think the, the older prepubescent uh, girls and boys might might be able to. Um, the younger ones, uh, it's more debatable. Well, what when you say the... Uh, I'm confounded here. What age do you think a, a child can consent to having... Uh, foreplay or full-blown sexual relations with an adult in your mind um well in my mind i I'd, I'd, I'd say um well uh, maybe uh the, the older ones nine ten eleven uh, maybe eight um i i, I really i'm i really don't think uh the, the kids that age are uh that naive especially these days with the internet I, are you serious you're you're serious aren't you yeah, I, I, I mean, I myself would never try it because of the laws, and I never have. I mean, I, yeah. If it were legal to have sex with a nine-year-old girl, would you do it? Um, well, I, I wouldn't. Well, first of all, uh, let, let me just uh, put, put this qualification in all this. I, I don't think uh, that intercourse or coitus should should be legal between men and prepubescent girls ever because the, because of the physiological what should be uh, legal well um i i could see the a wide range of other things such as uh, perhaps oral sex or um, just uh petting okay oh, all right do you if it were legal to have oral sex with an eight or nine year old girl would you do it um if it were legal i I would do it if I would. I, mean, I would try it. I've never done it before, and uh, I don't foresee myself doing it. But I, I might. I might try it. If so you've it, thought about this, haven't you? Yeah. I, like I said, the, the whole point of my thing was the love, and and I, I just think love is a beautiful thing. All right. Let me let me take some calls here. Joe. Joe. Good morning. This this guy is sick, and I mean, you know, Rick. I don't know. I I I, 
I can't speak right now. I mean, just listening to the guy, just hugging, cuddling, and stuff like this, that all leads to something else. I mean, oh, I, I don't. The only thing I could think of is when he says the, the code of ethics is code of the West. String this sucker up, man. Uh, Mike, Mike, uh, thank you for waiting. You're on with Jack McClellan from uh, Seattle. I have a little three year old granddaughter, and. Uh, I don't care whether what he's doing is legal or not. If I found out he was taking pictures of my little granddaughter and thinking of her in any way whatsoever, uh, I'd find out where he was at, drag him out of his car, and beat the crap out of him. I don't care what the law says. Let me let me go to Sean. Sean, good morning. You know, I'm about ready to vomit. Because if some six disease vermin like you was taking pictures of my 17-month-old kids or my 4-year-old and putting it on a pedophile website... Believe me, if I, you would be begging me for you, the cops to come or me to just end you. You sick, diseased pervert. You know, don't, don't give me this. It's all about the love. If it's about the love, hero, it, you'd have kids. You wouldn't be a sick pervert sit, li, sitting there at your mom's house taking pictures of my kids or somebody else's kids. 